Are you a job seeker looking to understand the difference between a full-time and a contract position? Don't worry, in this video, I'll break down everything you need to know about these types of jobs and help you make the right decision for your career. Hi, it's Jawan here. If you've noticed, contract positions are becoming increasingly common in the tech industry. I talked about some of their benefits in my other video. You can check it out if you haven't already, but it can also come with their own set of, well, let's say challenges. On the other hand, full-time positions offer stability and benefits, but may not be the right fit for everyone. Let's explore the differences in the pay, benefits, job security, and more to help you make and inform decisions on your career path. Number one, compensation. Full-time employees receive a set salary for their work. Regardless of the number of hours they actually work, they are also entitled to pay time off, such as vacation days, personal days, as well as paid holidays. For example, a full-time software engineer might earn a salary of $120,000 a year and receive four weeks of paid vacation in addition to paid sick leave and holidays, getting paid the full amount. On the other hand, contractors are typically only paid for the hours they work. They're not entitled to benefits such as paid time off or holidays, and any time they take off is unpaid. Number two, job security. Full-time employees are considered internal members of the company which means that they are part of the permanent staff. They are hired for the long term and are expected to stay with the company for an extended period unless they choose to leave or are terminated. Companies expect employees to remain with them for a long time and contribute to the success of the business. On the other hand, contractors are not permanent employees of the company. They are hired for a specific period to complete a particular project. For example, a payment company can hire a data engineer to help build out a data model project. The contractor is not considered an internal member of the company and is only paid for the work he or she completes. Once the project is finished, the contractor's contract ends and she moves on to other projects. In some cases, contractors can be hired for the medium term projects that last for several months or even up to a year or two. However, the employment is still considered temporary and is dependent on the project's completion. Number three, benefits. Full-time employees are eligible for a complete package of benefits, including health, insurance, retirement plans, and paid vacation. For instance, the health insurance plan may be comprehensive and cover medical, dental, and vision care. The retirement plan may include 401k savings with an employer march or a pension plan. Also, full-time employees have the opportunity to participate in professional development programs and receive promotions based on their performance and potential. These programs may include leadership training, mentorship, or tuition reimbursement for continued education. On the other hand, contractors may receive some benefit, but it varies based on the contract agreement and the employer's policies. Some contractors may be eligible for limited health insurance plans or retirement savings account, but they may not receive the same level of coverage or contribution as full-time employees. Additionally, contractors are not included in professional development programs or promotion opportunities as they're not considered part of the company's long-term plan. Full-time positions give you job security and stability, and you have a set schedule and benefits such as health insurance, paid time off, retirement plans. However, the pay is usually lower sometimes than in contract positions, and there may be limited opportunities for career growth. Contract positions sometimes offer higher pay rates, flexibility, and opportunity to work on new and exciting projects. However, there's a lack of job security benefits and guarantee of future work. And you may also work longer hours, including weekends, to meet project deadlines. Deciding between a full-time or contract position may be challenging, and it ultimately is down to your personal preferences, financial goals, and career aspirations. Just remember to weigh the pros and cons of each option and choose the one that best align with your goals. I'm wishing you all the best in your job search. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notified when I drop more content like this. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.